An electric scooter company announced an expansion that would add a new kind of transportation to its fleet. Wish TV's Sierra Hignite joins us now live with more on this announcement. It's going to be a, a crowded venue here with all these scooters and bikes. <laughs> yeah, my bird is known for supplying electric scooters like you see behind me. But in a tweet this morning, they announced two seater electric bikes that are be go going to be rolling out in cities this summer. Now, people we talked to today said they're excited to try the new technology, but they also have some concerns when it comes to the bird cruisers. An electric bike that can hold up to two riders. That's how Bird is describing the new cruisers they say will be hitting the roads this summer. Two people's kind of cool. I want to see how it's going to work, you know, trying to get two people on it. But I think it's something where if I see it, I'm going to want to try it out. Electric scooters have become a popular mode of transportation around downtown. When I'm on campus at college, I use it about like once a week if I'm trying to get to class. But the idea of a larger and faster bird is bringing about some concerns. And if they're parking them wherever they want, that's going to be just a bird but bigger. Some are concerned the new larger birds will also cause more safety issues along sidewalks and roadways. You can go significantly faster than you can on a purely human powered bike, so that's something else that the city should be aware of. There is also potential that it could bring in some direct competition for the Indiana Pacers bike share program. Sounds just like the bike share thing we have. I don't know if they have two seaters already, but I feel like there's already bikes you can rent to get around town. Pacers Bike Share doesn't see a lot of overlap in membership holders and those who regularly use electric scooters that are already available. There are groups of people that are always going to choose bikes. There are groups of people who are never going to ride bikes. And then there's a group in between, and that's people who I think are trying to figure out what their best and their preferred mode of transportation is. But until a more concrete decision is announced, Pacers Bike Share is choosing to sit back and enjoy the ride. More bikes bring more bikes, so that's a good thing for Pacers Bike Share to have more people riding bikes. But it is, you know, it will be interesting to see if they choose to come to Indianapolis, how that impacts, if it does impact Pacers Bike Share. The city says that if Bird wanted to add to or change their fleet, they would have to make the city aware and they would have to get approval. As of now, they have not done that. We also reached out to Bird to see if Indianapolis is even in the running to get these new cruisers. And as of now, we have not heard back. Live downtown, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV News 8.